Hey, yeah, so it feels like I haven't done a video in forever, literally, and I have got no reason why. I've just become really lazy, and I don't know if that's because it's the summer holidays, and my brain just goes, well, you don't have to do anything, why should you? Let's sleep and spend all our time on Tumblr. So that's what I've been doing. If you haven't noticed though, I am talking a bit weirdly, and that's because on Wednesday, I went and got my tongue done. My tongue is a piercing that I've always wanted. I wanted it when I was about 11, and I, I remember asking my mom, and she was like, no way. And I was like, uh, okay then. But I finally persuaded her, and I went and got it done. So that's what this video is going to be about. It's just going to be my experience and also me giving some tips. So yeah. I will show you what my tongue looks like at the moment and this is day four. So yeah. I'll show you now though a video of me getting it done. So enjoy. <laughs> Have a look. Does that look like the middle to you? Yeah. Sure. Maybe we're back once we've Keep your tongue out, don't put it in. Did you feel it? Uh huh. <laughs> Done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was me when I got it done and in the video it does look like I'm in so much pain but honestly, I will tell you now, it is not as painful as you think it's going to be. It's just like all your other piercings that you get are all like skin and stuff and then there's this one and it's a big lump of flesh in your mouth and you're like, this is going to fucking kill us. Is. Um, which it hurt a bit, didn't hurt as bad as I thought though. Personally, it was the bottom part that hurt and I don't know if that's because he went up with the needle on mine and a lot of other piercers go down with the needle, but I don't know if that was why. So when I went to get it done, I literally thought I was going to have a heart attack. I was so scared. I remember going to the room and it was packed. There was like 10 of the people in front of me and I was so close to chickening out and going, no, I will just get some else pierced. That will hurt less. Uh, but no, I, I, I did it. I got it done and it wasn't as bad as I thought. I went in, he sprayed my mouth with something that numbs it a bit, so obviously the pain isn't as bad as getting it done without it. I will tell you now, for anyone that wants to get theirs done, be prepared to eat loads and loads of cold shit. Now, my piercer told me to just eat fuck loads of ice cream. Um, even though I've watched a few of the videos and they're like, their piercer says you can't because apparently you can get a yeast infection. Um, but my peers told me to, so I don't know. I've been eating ice cream. The swelling on my tongue wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Like, you hear these really bad ones where the tongue swells up massively. My, even though I don't think my tongue is actually that swollen, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't think it is. Uh, I was told that I wouldn't be able to eat for like two weeks. I ate on the first day. I got my tongue done about one-ish and I ate ice cream throughout the day. And then when I came back, I had soup, which I prob you probably shouldn't, but I ate it and it was actually perfectly fine. The worst day for me so far was day two. I think that day was the most swollen and it was like all at the back as well. And it was like even hurting to swallow my own saliva. It felt really painful. And 
but I just took some paracetamol and it went away. I don't know if it was because I was in town and obviously I was talking with a lot of my friends all day that if that was what caused it to be thrown pay for. I was not after I took the paracetamol, it went down and I was, it was fine again. Um, and that day I came back, had soup again and ate some rice. Awkwardly, so awkward to eat food and then they're like trying to bite on one side of my mouth. The rice kept like staying by the bar and I kept thinking the ball at the top was food and I was, it was really hard to eat. Uh, then the next day I ate perfectly fine, had noodles and cobs and all that and I was fine. I think when it comes to eating it just depends on the person and how much their tongue actually swells. Um, you know, if your tongue isn't that swollen, I think it's fine to eat. But obviously, if it's massively swollen, don't just eat as much cold stuff as you can. Also, for looking after it, um, salt water. I also heard you can't have salt water. I was like, oh, okay. My PS had told me I could. So I've been having salt water. Um, just do that like twice a day. I've been doing it. Also, mouthwash is like so important. Um, I'll show the one I use. I've been using Oral B mouthwash, and you have to get non alcoholic because the alcohol stings the piercing and obviously you can agitate it. So, so definitely get a non alcoholic one. Yeah. And it says it's obviously the same with alcohol, you can't drink it for a bit because it'll hurt. That's it, really. Overall, I'm really happy with my piercing. I'm so glad I got it done now. I'm like the second day I was going, fuck this, I want to take it out so badly, it hurts, and but yeah, kept in. I'm fine now. For anyone out there that wants to get it done but they're really scared, honestly don't be scared, it's fine. Um, I'm going to be fine anyway. Uh, not as painful as you think it's going to be. So hope you enjoy the video. If you do have any questions, just leave them below and I'll try to answer them. So yeah, bye.